Hello, my beautiful friends. Thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome to Boy Was Mama Homeschool. I'm a homeschooling mom of four boys. And one of them is a toddler. I'm just doing tad school with him. But I am fully homeschooling a kindergartner, a um, third grader, and a sixth grader. So today I want to show you what we did for our space unit. So I'm just getting back into my um, YouTube groove here. So I did not get to show you this unit before I started it. I'm kind of showing you how we did everything, um, what we used, how much fun we had, um, the resources, the books, and so forth. So on the next video, I hope to do a plan with me. Um, I love doing those videos now that I'm doing a unit study approach because it just kind of shows you how I plan everything, where I get my ideas from, and so forth. But for today's video, I'm going to be showing you um, what I use to do the space unit with my boys. If you're new here, um, I am using the Gather Around curriculum. It is a unit study approach curriculum and it's by Rebecca Spooner. I love her unit studies. This is number four for us and it has been such a blessing. We really do enjoy it. It is a Christ-centered curriculum. And there's my dishwasher. <laughs> Um, it is a Christ-centered curriculum, so um, I love just doing these with my boys. If just get into it, I have it all laid down in front of me. I'm going to flip the camera and show you the things that we did, um, what I used, and so forth. And before I do that, I do want to show you really quick um, the teacher's manual for this curriculum or this unit. Um, and I want to just read to you the lessons. So there's 20 lessons for each uh, unit study with Gather Round. Um, and this one um, went over the introduction of astronomy. It did galaxies and solar system. It did sun, the sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, the moon, Mars, asteroids, comets, and meteoroids. That's one lesson. And then Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. All the planets got their own lesson, which was a lot of fun. And then we have the dwarf planets. History of uh, space exploration, life as an astronaut, rockets, stars, constellations, and gravity and light. Those are all the 20 lessons. And so our last lesson is this week. And yeah, let me just show you what we did and what we used and so forth. But I do want to um, just say before I continue that I do like to do all the things. So I might be a little extra because this is my bulk curriculum like this is my core curriculum and so I try to do as much as possible to bring the lesson home to the boys for the boys and so I do a lot of activities and I do a lot of experiments and stuff like that I do a lot of hands-on things but it's not that you have to do these things or <laughs> or that I would say this is just, this is the way you should do it not at all this is the way I've done it so I hope that as you see this video you can glean some ideas when you do a space unit if not this this one in particular, but when you decide to do a space unit, that you can glean some ideas from my video and that I might bless you with anything. But other than that, I just wanna share how um, we went about it and how much fun we had. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna show you from the teacher's manual a few things. So each unit has a book list that you can um, get books from. So as recommendations, you can pick your own from your own library or you can just go through this list, which I love to do. I look for the books that I want to incorporate in my units and it has for each of the um, levels. So early elementary, middle school, high school, pre-reader, early reader, and so forth. Um, also with each unit, she'll give you a supply list. So I would go through this list, make sure I have a lot of the supplies on hand when the lessons will come, which was a great little um, insert there. Okay, so I'm gonna show you one of our favorite lessons and how I'll go about doing a lesson. So what I would do is I would read the first um, few paragraphs for my kiddos and I would usually do a video break. One of my favorite things that these units have is these hands-on activity breaks. They're called activity breaks throughout the unit. This one in particular, um, the uh, activity called for um, the mom to prepare it ahead of time. I would take a bunch of different crackers. It could be Ritz. Um, I did like fig new ends, um, some saltine crackers and so forth. And I would crush them all inside a, um, a Ziploc bag. And then I would put in all the, um, the crumbs on a sheet pan and the kids would have to dissect looking with like a lupa or just kind of just going through feeling with their hands 
and tell me what cracker or cookie I used. So that was a fun activity to talk about um, the surface of Mars and so forth and how the Grover, or the Rover, <laughs> I said that wrong, the Rover um, looks through with the camera on the surface of Mars. So it was a nice little activity break. Um, my kids love these fun science activities. So I did a few of them, I'll show you really quick here. And so that's kind of what we did for the lessons. We always did video breaks. We did um, some of the hands-on activities and so forth. Here's the bunch of books. Some of our favorites are here. This is the bulk of the books we use for all our space lessons. So I'm gonna show you in a minute. I also use the puzzle for JJ. JJ's my fifth, um, I'm sorry, he is my kindergartner. So whatever I can use to keep him entertained while the other two are finishing on their um, work, I will use a puzzle. I also use um, some printouts from the Proverbial Home um, Maker. I love this um, website so much. I love the lady. She has a lot of fun activities for kiddos and they're free. So this one in particular was a space printout, um, uh, a bunch of printouts for space for youngins and it was free. So I printed a bunch of them out and we would use them throughout the unit for JJ to keep them busy. Um, because the gather around um, for the pre-reader, let me just show you. It only gives them two um, pages. So one of them is drawing. Let me show you. So one of them is actually coloring. This is for uh, the lesson on um, Mercury or the sun. And then, no, that was the introduction to astronomy. And then um, it would give them one activity. So once he's done with that, there's still so much time that I have to fill up because Gather Round right now is doing a reading program separately. So they only give the pre-readers very little um, activities on the unit so that they can do their own reading programs at the same time. So because I'm not doing the reading program, I have to fill it up with other things. So I did get the printouts from the Proverbial Homeschooler, which I'll link that before, below because they were very useful. They were um, also some writings that, that my son did some some tracing, let me show you here. This is one of them. And then there was some puzzles to put together, really nice, I'll show you some pictures here. So that was a blessing. I also did a sensory bin for him and he would get to play with that while his brothers were finishing up on their work. I also did a galaxy Play-Doh for him also. That was another um, activity that he would get to, you to do and have fun with while his brothers were finished on their work. So another thing that we use throughout our unit was these two. You guys know how I feel about these beautiful devotionals. I have shared a um, a video or two or maybe three or more <laughs> on these. And one of them was comparing them side by side. I will link that below as well. But we love these so much. And what I would do is before I would start my um, lesson, I would read from here. The best part about this, because it's devotionals on science and God, you can literally find a lesson in here to correlate with one of the lessons in the unit. So this one in particular was on rockets. And so we left this for lesson 17 right here. <laughs> and that was on rockets. The lesson 17 is on rockets. I'll show you lesson 11 was on Saturn. How perfect is that? Um, lesson seven was on the moon how perfect is that so we were just able to find lessons for all our um um i'm sorry not lessons devotionals for all our lessons it was perfect so we would start with that devotional then we would pray and then we would go right into our our unit okay so one thing i want to show you is how um the boys between like early reader or upper elementary um lower elementary and then there's middle school or how they're lessons correlate so that this way you can have them work together so um let me show you the notebook pages this is 
for my early reader. This is Jonah. So this is what his notepad, uh, notebook and pages look like. Very simple. He does tracing of the letters and some questions, some drawings and so forth. And this lesson is on Jupiter. Um, so this is what JL, he's my middle schooler. So for him, he does have to look for his information, do some research. He can use my iPad or a book or so forth. And then he fills out his questions here, the appearance of Jupiter, how many moons, just kind of given the names of the moons, orbit and rotation and exploration and so forth. So then they both um, were learning about Jonas Kepler or Joanne's, Johans Kepler. I got the name wrong. Um, so I would read the information from Jonah because he has uh, information already. Jail kind of has to look for it. So I would read it and then Jonah has some questions to answer and Jail has some questions to answer in writing. Jonah just has like the multiple, multiple choice. Um, so I love that because it, it, it goes with their age and the appropriate way of them learning and so forth. And then they both have their grammar lessons and in JL's case, he was learning about commas and the proper use of commas and so forth. And in Jonah's case, he was learning about uh, subject and predicate and so forth. And he had to do a little activity here for his grammar. And then they both had a lesson on the Bible for this particular one. Um, we read about idols and how the Greek and Romans gods were considered idols and so forth. And then they both had to answer questions at the bottom and do some reflection. So that was something that we did together. And then there was an art page here. This is my middle schooler. He has to draw um, and paint Jupiter. And then he has to work on shading. This is a, an extra little feature that they did for the middle schoolers that they did not do for the um, uh, early readers. So for the early readers, he just has to color paint Jupiter. Can you, can you do darker or lighter colors to help you show that is 3D and that was kind of hard for him so he just did it this way. I let them do it however they, way they want in a sense, but JL really enjoyed learning about shading with his. So that's just a look at the lessons for the early elementary and for the um, uh, middle schooler for my boys and how they correlate together, which is great. It really does help me as a teacher. And then if I have to do something with JJ, they can work together, which is great. Okay, because I use so many things with this unit, I mean, we did a month and a half of learning with so many fun things. I'm just kind of picking and choosing the things I'm going to share. One of the things I want to share is my heritage letter. Now, this in particular, it just happened to fit so nicely with our unit because we learned about Benjamin Banneker. This is the letter uh, by Heritage Letter. I'm going to link it down below. And then we learned that he was an astronomer. Um, he was a surveyor, an astronomer, and it also worked out because it was Black History Month, so we were able to concentrate on this uh, historian and learn a lot about him. This is such a great read on Benjamin Banneker and about his life, and my son, which um, my 11-year-old, really enjoyed it the most. Um, how he was around uh, with George Washington, he, he was the one that worked alongside another gentleman to survey the where the, the capital of the United States was gonna be. So it was really nice. He was in love with math and he was in love with clocks and he created his own clock. And we just, just learned about his character. He was a godly man. Just so many things that we learned about him. And it was just great because he became, he learned on his own how to be an astronomer and he made almanacs for that era, for this time period. So 1731 to 1806, he made his own almanac and he became very popular with it. He was great at it and so so forth. It was just great. Great to bring this little element into our uh, space unit. This one we're actually just doing now. This is by Jessica from the Waldock Way. She has tons of mini units on the Who Was series and we're doing Who Was Neil Armstrong. So I have a lot of printouts um, from her mini unit. We're gonna be finishing up this this week and we're already about three quarters finished with the Who Was Neil Armstrong book, which is fabulous. It's actually upstairs. I use it to read it at nighttime for the boys and also during our read aloud time. But this is another great asset that we're um, incorporated, that we did incorporate with our space unit and love it. This is another resource that was a lot of fun. This is a Factivity book by Discovery Kids, Blast Off and on a Mission to explore space. So we did this very loosely. We did some of the uh, fun activities in here. 
um, one of the lessons we did was on the phases of the moon here. We also did the sundial from here. Um, I love that it gives you project activities and so forth. Um, and we read aloud a few activities. So we didn't do this, um, all of it, but we did do a lot of the reading aloud and so forth. And it's just a great fun activity um, to also leave out for your kids, for them to pick up and do on their own um, while you're doing something else. So this was a, lot, um, a fun little resource to have. I wanted to talk about this really quick. Another fun activity or fun thing that I did with the boys is that before we get into the next lesson, I would ask them questions about the lesson the day before. And in order for them to get a little treat, they had to answer the questions correctly. So what I decided to use was Starburst. Um, it had to do with the space, of course. <laughs> so I decided to use Starburst candy, or I would do the Moon Pie, or a Milky Way, a mini Milky Way. It just had to have that space, you know, theme going on here. But these I found at the Dollar Tree, the Starburst, you find them anywhere. But it was a cute little activity to do with them to get them to learn their facts, and they would really enjoy this. They would say, Mama, you ready to ask us the questions? So I would ask them questions. They had to answer correctly to get their candy, their little treat, and for the most part, they did. I was very um, easy on them at some times when they couldn't answer the, you know, the questions, but they, for the most part, did so great. They really enjoyed that. All right, you guys, so now I'm gonna show you really quick the books that we read. Um, some here are totally our favorites, but these are the bulk of the book. There's some more over there. But these are the bulk of our learning, and a lot of them were recommended by the unit, or inside the unit. So I'm just going to go over them with a, really quick with you guys. Space and Rockets by DK, level 2. We love anything Fly Guy. This is jam-packed with information. Fly Guy um, presents space. Totally recommend it for littles. We really enjoyed this one. There's no place like space. And this one I actually purchased to have it, to keep it here, because we love all things cat in the hat. This is one of our famous astronaut handbook um, by Megan uh, McCarthy. Such a great little funny book to have with the kiddos. It was a lot of fun to read this one and the illustrations were fun. This one was another favorite in astronauts um, by astronaut Scott Kelly. So we loved reading um, books that actual astronauts wrote, which was really fun. So this is my journey to the stars. That was a fun one. This was actually uh, poems and facts about space. This was great, and we did this during our poetry time on Fridays. That was a lot of fun. We enjoyed this one too. This compared astronauts with aquanauts and the similarities between both. Such a great little visual here for the boys to have. This one was on the planets, Earth, stars and planets, plantative facts about stars and planets. This I already owned, and I used it for visuals. This one, my best, my best friend sent, um, lent to me. It also comes with a poster, which is great. The Smithsonian Discovery in Space. It, it has a lot of different activities, but this one I also use for visuals and I read some of the facts in here. This one was on the moon and it's called The Moon Seems to Change by Franklin um, and Bradley. I love this one because it actually gave you an activity to do so that you can see how the moon phases work. And it's using an orange, a flashlight, orange, an actual orange, and then a pencil and a marker. Such a simple activity, and it shows you how to do it step by step and um, how to act it out so that you can see how the moon changes. The, the boys really enjoyed this one. This one was another favorite, Mousetronaut by the astronaut Mark Kelly. That was a lot of fun. We even ended up looking him up just to look further into him. But this was such a cute little read and such good illustrations. My sons really enjoyed this one. And then this one, such a great one too. This is the spacesuit, how a seamstress helped a man, put a man into the moon. This one is another great read. Um, we looked up the seamstress too. It was so, so good just to... Um, hear her story and how everything went for her to to make that suit for the astronaut it was great and then the last one that we used very loosely we didn't read the whole thing we just kind of read some facts in here it was Galileo for kids this is another one that's recommended by um, the unit and it was great okay you guys and lastly I'm going to show you my little corner here in my living room this is where it all starts and then our first day we did a fun activity 
to bring in the um, unit and this is called the galaxy jar i got this idea from pinterest okay try to get your glitter to go all around okay okay are there sides yeah all around this way so when you get it get a lot in there yep mm -hmm. Okay, now let's keep breaking. Wow. Go dig in. And as you can see, my kids really enjoyed doing this. It was such a simple idea, but it was fun. I got this idea from Pinterest. And it was, it's just something that they can do all together and enjoy and have as decoration throughout a unit. And these helmets here made all the difference. This was lent to me by my sweet best friend. We also tried astronaut ice cream and peaches. And I'm telling you guys, these little activities brought the lessons home. The kids really enjoyed it. Mm. It tastes like ice cream, you guys. Mm. It is so yummy. Oh, man. Is it good, Jonah? I don't know. What do you mean? <laughs> confused. <laughs> How about you, JJ? Good or good or bad or bad? JJ, you like it? Yeah. It tastes like vanilla ice cream. Yeah, right? It does. I also incorporated fun snacks to eat during long lessons or even through a movie with the Galaxy Popcorn to watch our Curiosity Stream videos. And yeah, that's it, you guys. This is kind of how our space unit went. I really hope you enjoyed watching all of the fun that we had. I'm going to try to link as many things as possible down below. And I thank you so much for watching.